And here we are, friends, for the third and final time. I have six fresh, short, scary films for you, guaranteed to dismay and disturb. Grab a flashlight and a friend, and here we go. Featuring these asshole parents, who are apparently fine with leaving their kids alone in an unfamiliar house while they suck up to Dad's new boss, Ten Steps sees a girl stuck looking after her younger brother when the power goes out. Which is fine. All she needs to do is go down to the basement and reset the breaker. Easy. Right? The coat maker is about to go home for the night when strange things start happening to one of his mannequins. But then I don't know what he was expecting to happen when he keeps a creepy box of plastic dummy hands like that. The quiet zone begins in a nearly empty train carriage and a woman trying to finish her work is annoyed by someone who just can't be quiet. Too late, she learns that maybe she should have kept her mouth shut. Okay, stick with me on this one. I know the title is... Yeah, just, just trust me. On his way home from work, a prison guard wishes his daughter goodnight over the phone, but before he can get home, he is waylaid by... something. Instead of seeking help, he decides to investigate by himself. In the grand tradition of found footage films, a group of friends are driving around in the early hours heading home. They get a little lost. And then very lost indeed. And finally we have, to me, the most disturbing film on my list. The Disappearance of Willie Bingham features the title character, who is, for all intents and purposes, a monster. Mr. Bingham is selected as the test case for new punitive legislation. And so our journey comes to an end. We've travelled the world and learned together that one must never ever leave the house, go out after dark, we mustn't stay at home alone, never turn off the light, don't rebuke a stranger, and never, ever... I'm just recording. One second. Damn it, I said I'm...